Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And I wanted to do a, a video um, surrounding the chariots of Yahweh Bashim Shai as they are described in the book of Habakkuk as he saw a vision of the invasion of the chariots and the downfall of this current, you know, a system in Babylon the Great. Um, he called them the chariots of salvation, you know, which ultimately these chariots will be our defense. Okay. Um, and have been, you know, because ultimately they're inhabited by the angels. Okay. And um, as you can see here, the title of this video is Fast Moving UFO Spotted Live Over Buckingham Palace During Queen's Platinum Jubilee Fly Pass Show. And this is definitely the spirit of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. All right, ultimately letting us know he's getting ready to take these Edomites down. Now, they call UFO. All right, but ultimately we can identify these things according to the Holy Scriptures. Okay, which in times past, seeing the chariots, all right, uh, was nothing. It's in this age, you know, where, you know, the, the thought of a flying object has been tied to what? Pseudoscience, you know, aliens and all of these weirdo uh, activities. And we do know that these heathen, in particular the elite, have their pseudo versions, all right, that can make particular lightings in the sky all right but that does not offset prophecy see in times past as we'll get it real quick let's get the book of revelation the 13th chapter okay revelation the 13th chapter and uh we'll jump to uh, verse six speaking of esau edom all right and he opened his mouth and blasphemy against the most high to blaspheme his name, okay, which what comes with the name, the image within this world, the image of the true God of the Bible, okay, and his only begotten son has been blasphemed along with the names, all right, as far as pronunciation as well, but a name comes with a reputation. See, the God of this world has blinded people's mind from the true power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. So when they hear things like so called UFOs, Okay, what do they do? They automatically mock. Let's get that in 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. Okay, this is why we're likened unto fools for Hamashiach's sake. All right, to come and declare the full gospel, it makes you foolish in this world. But look at the, the garbage the people in this world believe in. Okay, 2 Corinthians 4 and 3, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. And Yahweh Shai himself is described to return in the clouds. Behold, he cometh with clouds. All right? When you go to Psalms 104, it links the clouds to the chariots, which the uh, Hebrew word is Marakab or Rakab, which means a vehicle. Who who inhabits these vehicles? The angels. All right, he's going to send his only begotten son, pursuing to Second Edges the thirteenth chapter, in a giant one, to uh, be a defense and a deliverance of the elect. Okay, that's scriptural. But if you bring these things up, all right, to so-called Bible scholars or to Christians or whatever, what do they do? They laugh. Why? Because the God of this world, which is based upon what? Opening his mouth in blasphemy against the true power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and his only begotten son to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle, which are the chosen people. Okay. The, 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 the spiritual temple is the true tabernacle. Okay. That's all been blasphemed through what? Pseudoscience. Okay. And them that dwell in heaven. All right. Who dwells in the heavens? The angels. All of these things has been blasphemed along with what? And it was given unto him power to do what? Make war with the saints and to overcome them. 
and power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. This is speaking of what the Edomite would come to do. He would blaspheme the truth. Remember, he's the children of Satan, the adversary of righteousness. So when we bring out the fact, all right, that these so-called UFOs are really IFOs and they're the chariots of salvation spoken of in the Holy Scriptures, people laugh and mock. But the more and more they laugh and the more and more they mock, okay, uh, it, it, it becomes more evident. As these things are now even being talked about in mainstream media. Because they can no longer control or hide the narrative. So they have to do what? Figure out a way to spin it and put their control on it. As if they have the end all be all of what these vehicles are. And, you know, and even when they try to explain them. They tell you that the way that these uh, chariots operate. You know, pretty much they're light years away uh, ahead of them in technology which you can't put a number on how far ahead and advanced the chariots are as you know uh um in comparison to esau's blessing in his technology so i'm gonna play this video and this was at her jubilee the queen which is a demon okay and there's nothing noble about that family all right the true noble family are the israelites OK, but they've hijacked particular, uh, you know, particular uh, titles and ultimately through their blessing, they've been able to spread themselves as the chosen people and as the royal. And they're a bunch of misfits. And it's come out that this queen is a part of some very satanic practices. And this whole jubilee ceremony was laden with witchcraft. Because the devil knows that they have but a short time to complete their mission. The king of Babylon is moving fervently because what? It's coming out. Okay, the, 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 the truth of the matter is coming out. And his plans are being exposed. So the chariots damn uh, sure do have a lot to do with how fast that they're moving. Because they're moving with what? Fear. Um, let's get that. In the book of uh, Jeremiah, the 50th chapter. Okay, Jeremiah 50. You know, and this Babylon ain't talking about ancient Babylon, which was just taken down by the Persians and the Medes. You had a few blood, you know, there was a few skirmishes, a few people were taken out. But ancient Babylon wasn't taken down by fire. This modern day Babylon will be. All right. Jeremiah 50 and 43. The king of Babylon have heard the report of them and his hands wax feeble. Anguish took hold of him as pangs and pangs as of a woman in travail. OK, so the king of Babylon. All right. Have heard the reports of the chariots he's heard the reports of the prophets and what's happened his hands have waxed feeble and anguish has taken hold of him so what is he doing he's moving forward with great wrath okay and this is all according to the holy scriptures we're putting the pieces together now um let's check this out hey guys rico here from finding ufo Today we are taking a look at a very recent and interesting footage of this UFO captured live during the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebration event mm. at Buckingham Palace. So guys, let's take a quick look at the footage and we'll talk about it afterwards. Three national colors. The Queen, Platinum Jubilee, Commander-in-Chief. Epstein's homies right here you know it's, it's funny all of these up higher up Edomites are always tied to some sort of sick satanic scandal okay but they're never canceled 
All right, because ultimately they uh, uh, own the media. They own these media outlets. It's only so much you can say about them. But why do you think Yahweh Bashim Shai allowed that chariot to fly through and it flew through the, the, <laughs> the red, white, and the blue? Which when you go back to ancient Egypt, the uh, nobility classes were separated by red, white, and blue. Okay, now this isn't America, all right, but ultimately Babylon the Great is controlled out of England, okay, so it all goes hand in hand anyway, and the elites are, 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 are moving with great fear, they're throwing up all of these rituals, they're trying their hardest to, you know, offset prophecy and set themselves in place to be the ones who who get the victory and that's not going to happen it's already written and they know that the elites do so they're in a fight against the most high the most high is letting them know you're going to lose that fight because if that chariot wanted to it could have took out all of these these planes that's the power that one chariot has over what one uh nine different airplanes Shooting out pollution into the air. Now, what, what, does this bother the, the CO2 emission carbon footprint global warming ordeal? Anyway. Ed Buckingham Palace. So, guys, let's take a quick look at the footage and we'll talk about it afterwards. Three national colors. The Queen, Platinum Jubilee, Commander in Chief. Yeah, look at that. Woo! These are the Edomites. This was a balcony picture with more than a nod to the future of the monarchy. And the true future of the monarchy okay is captivity we're also here to tell you that let's get the book of isaiah 24 <laughs> isaiah 24 after the destruction okay and eventually new jerusalem we come down you know to set up the throne of david you know those of you elite families that are left in the bunkers along with your slaves and whoever else is left wiggling around the earth OK, we're going to gather up the elites. OK, Isaiah 24 and 21. And it shall come to pass in that day that Yahweh shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high. See. And the kings of the earth upon the earth and they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit and they shall be shut up in the prison. And after many days, they should be visited. So these elites are going to be gathered. These particular families OK, which are, you know, doing a jubilee practice for the future of their monarchy and this and that. Well, th these are going to be th these little children here. OK, now a lot of you are going to still be alive. Possibly. All right. But it's going to be your children. All right. What does the scripture say? Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. See, so the the the, the chariot flew through. You know, as you're, you know, the, doing your wickedness, the chariot flew through. <laughs> and it's a reminder, you devils are getting ready to go down. We're at the end of Esau's world. Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Meanwhile, you all are trying to discuss your future, as the scriptures say. OK, what is their inward uh, thought? This is Psalm 17. No, it's not uh it's Psalms forty let me see. let me just get it. Psalms forty nine and eleven. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. 
as they went and conquered, which ultimately that was prophesied for them to do. Now, when you get the book of Job 21, or maybe it's 20. All right. Job 21 and 7. Wherefore do the wicked live, become old, yea, they are mighty in power. All right. And this nigga is old as hell. The so-called queen, which she probably has replacements. All right. And these devils are old as hell. Okay. And how do you think they look at you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Okay. As, as, as their slaves, as their subjects. Okay. Wherefore do the wicked live, become old, yea, and are mighty in power? Their seed is established in their sight with them and their offspring before their eyes. Their houses are safe from fear. Neither is the rod of God upon them. Okay. They're, they're, they're basically chilling. Okay. They get sick. They, <laughs> they go and get some limbs or some, some inward parts of a you know, healthy so-called Negro that they sacrifice, drink the blood, and they're, they're all right. Okay, their houses are safe from fear. They don't live where police are uh, uh, patrolling the neighborhoods, where you have GMO foods and, 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 you know, all of this garbage. All right, they have cattle and bulls. Okay, it says their little ones are dancing. Okay, they have these little weird parties where they put these different masks on. They're dancing and rejoicing to the sound of the organ. They spend their days in wealth. All right. And in a moment, they're going to go down into the grave. Therefore, they say unto God, depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. And that's the, the system that they've set up is all anti-Messiah. All right. Now, when you go down. Here's the point. Job 21 and 29. Have not you asked them that go by the way? And do ye not know their tokens? All right. That the wicked is reserved. To the day of destruction, they shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. See, the, the wicked is being reserved unto the destruction that's coming in this time. Who shall declare his way to his face and who shall repay him what he hath done? See, and we're the prophets are declaring his way to his face and we're telling him he's going to be repaid for what he has done. So you demons ain't going to you know, uh, escape with your spoils, man. The monarchy. So guys, this is what I know about the footage. It was live streamed on June the 2nd, 2022 over Buckingham Palace during the Platinum Jubilee show with the Queen and Royal Family of Britain. Now we can see this glowing object flying with an incredible fast speed. I have zoomed in and used filters to see it more clearly. Now you have to remember guys that this event was witnessed by thousands of people and live streamed as well. We also have a footage from the inside cockpit view here. It's amazing seeing it from lots of different angles. But that's not all guys, I've noticed in the footage also another object shooting behind the clouds. It's in this video here. Really interesting seeing lots of activity in the sky that day. But what do you guys think? What are these objects? Are we looking at a probable reflection of something? Maybe a drone or a bird? I know that the airspace was completely sealed off for this special event. This footage actually reminds me of a very recent UFO sighting that I covered over Miami Beach, Florida, approximately a week ago, and was... So the chariots are here, man. Okay. Let's get the book of uh, Zechariah 5 and 1. Start at two, and he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll, the length thereof twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof um, ten cubits. 
And he said unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. So this is a curse unto you devils, man. Okay? And when you look it up, this is from 2014, from 1906 to 2014. The, the majority of the so-called UFO sightings have been in Babylon and near and around, okay, the uh, countries that make up the beast system, which, ha which is interesting. I'm pretty sure if you uh, went to 2022, this would be even more lighter because the chariots are here over Russia as well. Okay, working on the minds of the people, scaring the shit out of the heathen. All right, but for us, all right, there, there's uh, something to glory in and to fear Yahweh Bashim Shai. So this is a curse that go in the face over the whole earth. Okay, for everyone that steal it shall be cut off. And how was Britain gotten? Okay, they, they stole it. They stole everything. Colonization. Okay. So everyone that steal it shall be cut off as on this side, according to it, according to what the chariots and everyone that swear shall be cut off as on that side, according to it. And he's, he swears falsely using the Bible. And I will bring it forth, said the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. And it shall remain in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the timber thereof. And the stones thereof. Now, ultimately, that's Babylon the Great that's going to get the full destruction. All right. But the chairs are going to show up worldwide. OK, fire is going to come down. OK. Um, and ultimately, the elect are going to be beamed up. OK, I was also um, checking out this video as these so-called scientists call themselves describing the power of the chariots. Check this out. So for Jason A's channel. I turn now to the search for answers to the unexplained. Well, it's the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? Well, we might be now getting some answers. For the first time in 50 years, U.S. military officials have gone before a Congress hearing. Oh, it's getting close. It was the videos that were impossible to ignore, and so were the witnesses. Released by the military in 2020, you hear stunned Navy pilots off California's coast in 2015 wondering out loud what the heck they were seeing in the skies. <laughs> Former Navy pilot Ryan Graves telling GMA the encounters with these physics-defying objects became almost routine. We were seeing them nearly every day that we were flying. Um, we were going up there to do our normal training missions, uh, so we weren't necessarily going out there to track these, these objects. The 2017 New York Times article, uh, in my mind, made uh, that was a big shift. It used to be that one person would see something in the sky and say, look, Martha, look, there's something up there. Now things have changed. It opened the door to the possibility of other. They didn't specify what other was, but you can fill in the dots yourself. Now, one possibility for other is hypersonic drones. Mm. We see that in warfare now. The Russians in the battle of Ukraine is actually using hypersonic drones to hit targets inside Ukraine. Uh, to be hypersonic, you have to go faster than Mach 5. Anything faster than five times the speed of sound is called hypersonic. And so the Russians are now fielding hypersonic drones in warfare. But you see, this is something just in the last few months. These sightings, they go back decades into the past with objects executing these gyrations decades ago. And that's why you have to take them seriously. We're talking about objects that defy the known laws of aerodynamics with a technology beyond what we have today. And so that's why people are scratching their heads. <laughs> Let's get the book of uh, Isaiah, the uh, 31st chapter. Okay. And that's your salvation, okay? And, uh, you know, the, the technology that the chariots are c comprised of, it, it can't be matched. Okay, Isaiah 31 and 3, Now the Egyptians are men and not God, and their horses flesh and not spirit, 
When Yahweh shall stretch out his hand, both he that help it shall fall, and he that help hoping shall fall down, and they shall all fail together. Okay? So the Egyptians are these modern day Edomites. Okay? And they are nothing but men. And their horses, their power is nothing but flesh. It's limited. It's not spirit. So when the Lord sends forth the Ahawah Shai, all right, both those that try to help Esau and these different nations fight against Yahweh Shai are going to fall and fail together. And that can be described in 2nd Edges, the 13th chapter, starting at 31. It says, and one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, one place against another, and one people against another, and one realm against another. This is going to be the atmosphere before the second coming. And the, the one realm against another is the spiritual realm is going to fight the realm of this world. Okay, the chariots are coming. And at that time, all right, shall be, and the time shall be when these things shall be, come to pass. And the sign shall happen, which I show thee before. And then shall my son be declared whom thou sawest as a man ascending. Okay, that was uh, the, 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 the son of man. That's your high shot. That's the chariots coming down. Okay, it's, it's his son, the son of the most high. And he's not going to meet you as a man. And when the people shall hear his voice, the fire coming out. Every man shall in their own land leave the battle they have against one another. And an innumerable multitude shall be gathered together as thou sawest them willing to come and overcome him by fighting. But he shall stand up upon the top of Mount Sion. Okay. Holy Jerusalem. All right. And Sion shall come and be showed unto all men, being prepared and build it like as thou sawest the hill graven with our hands. Meaning we're going to be beamed up. And what is Yahweh Shai going to do? And this my son shall rebuke the wicked inventions of those nations, which for in their wicked life are fallen into a tempest. And all and these so-called scientists speaking about this, they're all wicked. They're all anti-Messiah. They're all involved. This, this dude was talking about how scientists are... Um, you know, boasting in, in, in creating a space elevator where they can go from space to Earth in, you know, with a damn elevator. You see? So the pride of Esau's heart have to see them and those who are aligned with him as well. Because you best believe they're all going to fight. Okay, so there's a lot of strange things happening. Constellations, different, you know, blood moons. OK, different signs, which ultimately we need that. OK, we need to pray for more. All right, because those angels are on our side, man. And whatever Esau does to try to fake it and, and you know, imitate, you know, ultimately it's all going to fail. And the truth of what it is is going to come out. Who are these things if they're not the Chinese, the Russians or the United States? So one of the main points of contention is the lack of visible propulsion method right there's no it, it, essentially there's no heat signature there's nothing that we understand to be present that normally exists when something is going at a tremendous rate of speed that's right not only that these objects create no sonic booms when you exceed the sound barrier uh, you create a gigantic boom that is then shatters windows and can be heard miles around these objects can effortlessly uh, break the sound barrier and not create a sonic boom. And they don't create any exhaust. Uh, we don't see any exhaust trail from these objects. So either they're an optical illusion of some sort. Yeah, the chariots don't take gas. Okay. <laughs> they don't need anything of this world to keep going. They're they're fully operating on the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. See, and going back to this scripture, their what they have is all based upon flesh. It's limited. See, and this is how the Lord is going to deliver us. Verse five: As birds flying, so will Yahweh, the Lord of Hosts, defend Jerusalem. Defending them, He will deliver it, and passing over, He will preserve it. Okay, and that passing over is Peshach. This is going to be the new Passover as we're delivered 
out of this modern day Egypt. Okay. Habakkuk 3 and 8. Was the Lord displeased against the rivers? Was thy wrath against the seed that thou didst ride upon thine chariots? All right, upon thy horses and thy chariots of salvation. See? The chariots of salvation. And they're beyond anything these so called scientists or studiers of air, spacecraft, whatever. It's beyond anything they have ever experienced. Sorry. Or they have a set of laws of physics beyond what we, what, what we can muster. And once you go to higher energies, the laws of physics begin to break down. The laws of Einstein and the laws of the quantum theory break down as something called the Planck energy. Why is that important? That's what I do for a living. I work mm -hmm. on something called string theory, which lives at the Planck energy. The Planck energy is 10 to the 19 billion electron volts. That is a quadrillion times more powerful than our most powerful atom smasher outside Geneva, Switzerland. Any civilization that could harness the Planck energy would be able to become masters of space and time. Space and time as we know it become unstable at the Planck energy, which is far beyond anything that we can muster here on the planet Earth. So. We physicists theorize, how advanced do you have to be to access the Planck energy? The energy at which space and time become unstable, where wormholes may develop, gateways through space and time, portholes through empty space. Scientists have been studying new data from the Hubble Space Telescope. They say the expansion rate has become much quicker compared to the expectations. Observations also showed other galaxies are moving away from our Milky Way faster, but scientists cannot yet figure out why. So all they're saying for now is that, quote, something weird is happening. Yeah, yeah, something something weird is happening. But you notice people are now bringing this out. You know, the, the, this is in the Bible. The Bible explains this. <laughs> So I just wanted to bring that out, man. I didn't want to go too deep into that. But the uh, the chariots are here and they have these uh, these heathen worried. Shalom.